how do we know exactly what we're pumping into our gas tanks, especially when we're spending more and more at the pump? Working with our partners at the Scripps Howard News Service, we collected one-gallon samples of regular unleaded and premium fuel from eight national brands across three states. We took our samples to Paragon Laboratories, an independent certified testing facility near Detroit, to find out if all brands are created equal when it comes to detergent. Uh, the worst things you can do is to go from brand to brand to brand, um, getting the cheapest stuff you can find. Tony Mola of the National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence says if you repeatedly fill up with gas that doesn't have enough detergent, deposits can build up, causing your engine to burn more gas. As the deposits build up, they tend to attract more deposits. So it's very much like a, uh, a process that the longer it goes untreated, the worse it becomes. Think about it. You never see exactly what you're paying for in there. When you put the nozzle in the tank, the gas is quite literally out of sight. So we did the testing for you. Paragon performed unwashed gum tests, the same test automakers use when spot checking to see if gas meets their standards. Scientists boiled each sample and measured the residue left behind. The more residue, the more detergent, which could equal better gas mileage. In our test of regular unleaded gas, Exxon had the highest level of additives, with 20 milligrams of residue per 100 milliliters. BP and Shell followed close behind, while Marathon, Sitco, Pilot each had less than half the amount of detergent found in the top three brands. And Speedway, the market leader with more than 80 stations in the tri-state, had the least, only one-fourth the additive residue of the Exxon sample. And obviously the more detergent, the more efficient job it's going to do of cleaning the valves. Speedway told us its gasoline meets or exceeds EPA standards. Quote, detergents are proprietary additives to fuel. Without prior knowledge of what makes up a company's detergent, it would be extremely difficult for the laboratory to accurately measure the sample that was provided. You pay a premium for gas that's 92 or 93 octane, and in our tests, Shell led the pack with 31 milligrams, followed by BP and Exxon. We found the lowest level of additives at Speedway, Mobile, Sitco, Marathon, and Pilot. We don't know what we're putting in our tank. We can't see it going down and down the tank. Tina Blakesley of Mount Healthy says her car died right after she filled up with premium gas at a local marathon station. I thought I was getting premium gas. I got premium water <laughs> instead. A picture snapped by the mechanic shows what Key says he pumped out of Blakesley's gas tank. Are you sitting down? And I was like, why? And he's like, you have a full tank of water. It was white and creamy. And that was where the water was, and a fine little line of gasoline on the top. An extreme case, to be sure, but another viewer reported a strikingly similar experience after filling up at a different marathon station in the area. He said the station owner paid the $774 for repairs. That's a scary thing. It really is. Because you want to make sure you're getting gas, and with the prices as high as they are, of course you're going to go where it's a little cheaper. We always recommend that you try to find one brand of gasoline that you like and sort of stick with it, or at least one location.